hello 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 so this is a new module uh, training module which i am starting over here this is related to avaya od uh, name of the training section i am naming it as a read as a read the manual why read the manual uh, because that's the simplest answer i can say is uh, each and every application have the manual or developer guide right so and it will give you the whole uh, step by steps the things we have to study we have to perform and to create the whole particular application so over here uh, the we are using avaya or organization designer developer guide okay and i will not going to read through all of them but uh, i will explain chapter wise and as per my understanding uh, it may be wrong but uh, uh, hopefully we will find some of the some of the things are useful okay uh, the link for this PDF is also given in the comments uh, description section. Uh, let's move to the concept first. Okay. Uh, so concept wise, uh, this is an architecture diagram where the whole the call journey is mentioned. If you want to know more details about it, uh, there is another video about it. Uh, you can find the description in the link. Okay. Uh, what we are planning to do is create a call flow which will uh, in the ivr side in the od where first uh, the once the user calls the number there is a, we are asking if it is account number password reset and then we are asking few further questions like what is their date of birth what is their employee id and based on that we will make a web service so there is another video about it uh, how to create a web service uh, using Spring Boot and how you can leverage it or integrate with your Avaya OD and how to respond back to that. And if it is successful, then we will uh, show that how to unlock or account has been unlocked or how you can play back the password, temporary password, which you have is want to assist uh, the user with. If there is a issue with the backend side, right? then we will transfer the call to the agent. <clears throat> okay, uh, so we're going back to read to the manual. Okay, uh, the first chapter does not give any of the details. So I've gone through the chapter. It basically gives you what are the warranty, what are the, where you can find the, all the documents and other things. The second chapter is pretty much uh, uh, if you're starting with the Avaya OD. So I will concentrate on that part. So what they have mentioned over here, so first of all, basically, this is a Avaya OD Eclipse, okay? Uh, you get the installer from Avaya, uh, uh, what is that, uh, dev site, okay? You can download the uh, Avaya OD. I am right now using version 7.2.3. It can use the 7.2, 7.0, or 8.0, 8.1, any version you will use. It, you have the same interface. Uh, <clears throat> there is nothing much change over here. So let's say if we want to create a project, okay? So let me create a first project like Avaya OD training, okay? Uh, so it will allow me to create, I will select the language as English. Uh, that is the one we are going to use for now. <clears throat> so while it creates the project, right? Uh, yeah, okay. So by default, my Tomcat was on. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time I'm creating over here. So that may be the reason we're getting so many pop-ups uh, from the system side. Now, uh, meanwhile, while it's create the project over there, uh, we will quickly glance through the car, things that is trying to explain. Okay, uh, so over here, getting familiar before you begin, what are the things we have to do, right? Uh, uh, what are the bug page sections is there? How to see? the toolbar and all those things is mentioned over here so this is pretty much the basic start of the project uh, we'll wait for od to start okay it has started okay so our project has started important thing is from the perspective right so over here if you open to the perspective so you get usually the java perspective for od project we have to concentrate on the speech side okay so i will open the speech because that will give you the other properties and other sections that you can select over here. 
Okay, I'll quickly glance through. So this is the area. This is the area where you will do whole design of the call flows. Okay, so this is the section we call as palette. Okay, where you can get all like select connections. And uh, let's say if we want to do announce, so this is something like that. So you do drag and drop over here. If you want to make a web service call, so you can put that thing over here. And if you want to end the call or something like that. And how you connect, so there is a connection over here. This way you can connect. So one point connect here, another point connect here, another point connect here. Okay, so this is just a basic over here. What else we have over here is the properties. So this is a, another important thing. So let's say uh, if you want to modify anything, let me save it so that error will go away. Um, so there is a this is a prompt section that, you, and if you click over here in the properties, you can rename it. So let's say first prompt something like that. Uh, what you else get is you get. Uh, for other components like uh, if I put the menu over here right so for that uh, we get four far more details and if you go to the transfer section right uh, so if I put let's say if you want to transfer a call to the uh, agent right so for that properties also we get far more details over here and even for the bridge transfers uh, bridge transfer if I put it over here uh you will get the details and if you double click over there you will far get more details like if you want to do parameters so those things anyway will come later on the stage let me quickly delete this uh okay 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 so this is the palette these are the property sections that you can edit and this is a simulator simulator means uh, you select the project okay and then you can run the application locally in your system so what it allow you so let's say if you have developed the higher call flow uh, it will help you to uh, test it locally in your system you can check back all the audio files and even the default speech recognizer is microsoft site so you can also test the speech input so hopefully by the end of all the tutorial series we will be able to make a ivr call flow of this uh, account or login password reset. In this, we will use backend web services integration. We will use DTM and speech input, and uh, we will use custom prompt or dynamic prompt to play back the responses. Uh, yeah, so this is the first tutorial. Uh, if you have any comment, uh, please uh, leave it into the YouTube section. Thank you.